talk about this now. It's not pretty, but uh, you know we got to go there. It may not feel like spring uh, will ever get here, but we know the calendar will change. We will be eventually wearing shorts and bathing suits again. So if you've been putting off doing something about your varicose veins, the time to explore treatments is now, and there are lots of them. You should feel really, really encouraged. Dr. Adam Cloud is a vascular surgeon uh, at the Yukon Health Center. He joins me this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning to you as well. So this is something, you know, uh, that, that is sort of a dreaded thing for a lot of people that think, oh my goodness, you know, I, I've got these on my legs or I'm worried I'm going to get them. Mm -hmm. uh, for those who, who've been so lucky not to deal with them, explain exactly what varicose veins are. Sure. Varicose veins are actually dilated superficial veins and they're generally in the lower extremity and that's because of the way they develop. So oftentimes you'll notice them in the calves. A varicose vein specifically is a vein that's over three millimeters in diameter. There are smaller ones that people notice. They're typically called spider veins. Those are less than one millimeter in diameter. And this is something that affects a lot of people. What was the number I saw? Like 24 million Americans? Absolutely. And, and listen to this. Is this right? One so people above the age of 51 out of every two will get varicose veins, men and women? There's a lot of statistics on the matter, and actually it's got about a 20% prevalence throughout all populations. My so, goodness. Yeah, it's a very common condition. Okay, so if people are looking at their legs, they're like, hmm, what is this little thing developing here? Uh, what are some symptoms? What are signs that it's something that might turn into a varicose vein? Well, there are a lot of symptoms, but the primary two symptoms are edema, which mm -hmm. is swelling of the lower extremities. Mm -hmm. And it's important to have a specialist look at this because that can also be a marker for other very significant medical conditions. And then the other symptom that's commonly found is pain, and that can be itching, throbbing. It can also be easy fatigability of the lower extremities. Uh, and occasionally people will have have thrombosis and bleeding from these veins so they can be pretty you know pretty scary okay so I guess the question now we're all thinking is what can we do about this there are lots of treatment op options before we get to those is there anything we can do just in life in general that will lower our risks like I said to you before I started the segment I should uncross my legs is that a myth that crossing your leg uh, leads to varicose veins it is probably mostly a myth but there are some things that have a very significant impact uh, most of the factors unfortunately people can't control uh, the biggest risk factor is hereditary yeah. factors. So if you have so a first degree likes. relative yeah. that has varicose veins, your instance of that goes up considerably. Okay, and so then, what can we do about it? Well, uh, there are some things that can be done. The most conservative treatment, which everybody has to try in order to have insurance consider covering these, mm -hmm. is to use compression therapy. So there are compression stockings that people can wear. They have them in different elevations, so knee high, thigh high, and different levels of compression. They can be very, very effective at treating the symptoms and improving the pain. So people that stand for long periods, they might really appreciate having these. And if you go beyond that, laser treatment? Absolutely. Or, okay. There's a whole spectrum of other treatments. At University of Connecticut, we offer all common therapies for them. Most of these therapies, as it starts out, are minimally invasive. So we're talking about laser treatments or radiofrequency ablations. These are techniques to actually cause the vein that is causing the problem to scar down. And then after that, if that doesn't resolve all symptoms, there are other levels of intervention to help kind of get rid of any residual uh, condition. So it sounds like if you think this is something that concerns you, get that appointment with your doctor, have them take a look and start getting on your path to dealing with them. Absolutely. It is something that's a little bit time sensitive too because from the moment you walk into somebody's office, you need to have ultrasound evaluation to determine that this is a condition that really should be treated. And then after that, you need to go through a period of trial of compression therapy to demonstrate that this uh, has either been effective or not effective before you can undergo treatment. And that can take as long as three months. So. All right, so there you go. Time is of the essence. It may be, you know, snowing tomorrow, but still that spring Absolutely. and summer bathing suit season's coming. Thanks so much, Dr. Cloud. We appreciate My all pleasure. the information.